What's going on everybody? So the most frequent travel mistakes that CPAP users have made over the last eight years that I see on a daily basis, I'm going to share with you guys today. Usually 10% of our entire CPAP business are travelers within a 40 to 50 mile radius and they come here because something broke down or they forgot something at home. I'm going to share with you what those items are so you don't make the same mistakes and also if you're not traveling to have a backup system is very important i'll go over each of that with you today if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and if you want to use my business here at usa medical supply please consider using my business for your cpap supplies greatly appreciated so let's get right into it so some of the most common mistakes are number one prescription so many people who need an item such as a CPAP machine that breaks down or a full face mask that they can't break apart in parts or a state have different regulations or laws, they don't have a prescription. It's been so difficult for them to get a prescription because if you haven't seen your doctor in a year or your sleep doctor in a year, chances are they will not give you that prescription. So the first thing you should do is have a copy of that prescription. Have several copies. Have one on your phone. Keep one in your CPAP case as well. Next issue we see common are hose issues. Either they forgot the hose at home or there's a defect that happens in the hose. So I'm gonna to suggest to you guys, always carry a backup hose. And if you don't wanna carry something as bulky as a heated hose, then go with something like a slim line or a non-heated hose. Humidifier tanks is another common travel problem. Now I'm gonna tell you something different here that I do. Uh, it's not to have a backup humidifier tank. I'm gonna go with the side panel for a CPAP machine and I'm doing an AirSense 11 today. And what's great by doing the side panel is it's gonna be a lot easier to travel with, right? So you're gonna just take the side panel, you're gonna put it into the machine and then you're gonna put it in the case and then what you can do is you can put the humidifier in the case as well. Uh, another reason I like having that side panel is not only if the humidifier were to break down or have a defect in it where you're trying to figure out where to get a humidifier is that maybe you're going to uh, a place that has high humidity where you don't even need a humidifier and you can bypass it completely by using that side panel. Extra filters, very important to have plenty of extra filters. I want to note here that a CPAP machine in its case is not considered a carry-on. So when you bring this on an airplane, it's not considered a carry-on. However, have your prescription just in case. Another reason to have your prescription inside your case. So if you have to show the airline, you'll have no issues getting through. I want to note that if your machine is three to five years old, a common thing that happens is that the power pack goes faulty. I can tell you when your CPAP machine goes completely black from my experience in the past eight years, 99% of the time it's been a faulty power pack. This is an $80 purchase versus a $1,000 purchase with a new CPAP machine. And we've saved people thousands of dollars by replacing this when they came in looking for an entire CPAP machine. So that's pretty much it with the machine end of it. Now let's talk about the mask part. So you definitely want to have a backup cushion and a backup headgear. And here's another one for you that you're probably not thinking about. You want the clips or the magnets as well. So many people lose clips and magnets where they can't wear this or they're using a clothespin or some other kind of contraption to keep the mask on them while they're sleeping. So have that backup. It's also good to have these things in your house. So if you're on a Friday or Saturday where you don't have access to a CPAP supplier, that you always have a backup of all these things for your machine, uh, your headgear, your cushion, and all the accessories that go with it. Also, if you can afford it, I would suggest always having a backup CPAP machine or something that you can keep at home if something does happen on vacation if you do check it in with your luggage or something happens at the hotel or it gets damaged, that 
you have a backup machine that could possibly be overnighted to you um, by a family member while you're on vacation. So I'm going to stress to you guys the importance of having backup CPAP machines, not only for travel, but to have in your own home. So if something were to go wrong, you don't miss a night of therapy. That's it, everybody. If I missed anything, put it in the comments section. I love interacting with you guys. And again, if you please consider hit subscribing. I appreciate all the subscribers as well. All right, everybody, sleep well.